Welcome everyone to BYOB week four. This is recruiting with Erica tonight and I'm gonna turn it right over to her. So hello guys. I don't know if anybody got to watch my live or who did or who didn't, but I won't go into detail with everything. I suggest going back and watching it. Um, but the main thing that we did is we made a list of 100 for people to message. Um, so I don't know if anybody made their list of 100, um, but it's basically, um, you know, friends, family, relatives, acquaintances, neighbors, kid connections, social media. Um, so I suggest when you're messaging people to make it intentional. I went a lot of, I went over a lot of, um, about me sponsoring basically all comes from parties. Um, literally every single person that I've sponsored has either been through a party or been someone that has asked me to sign up. Um, so I was gonna challenge myself as well and make my list of 100. And I figured if I could have a team of 60 without asking one person, then I could probably double or triple my team <laughs> if I started asking. So um, I had everybody make, or I, you know, suggested everybody to make a list and then we could come on here tonight and message people. Um, I know everybody's probably going to say, what do we message people? And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have a pre-made message. Maybe someone else does. Maybe Martha does. Um, but that kind of ties in with the building, the relationships. And so every message, mine are going to be voice messages when I send these. So I don't have a free or a free uh, typed out um, copy and pasted message, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So um, does anybody have any questions or anybody have any, did anybody make a list? Just to help, um, I can share a little bit of verbiage, but like Erica said, I think you need to make it personal for them. Um, and I 100%, like my, all my recruits have either, I went through my list and 85% of them over 12 years have been either hostesses or um, a customer. Um, but here's just a little bit of something you could kind of, but again, like make it to where whoever that person is. Um, but one thing that I kind of like to go by is hey, Sally, um, hope you're doing well. I was just thinking about how much you love Sensi. So I wanted to ask you, have you ever thought about doing what I do to earn some extra money or, um, you know, you, you, if you know them, you can kind of then fill in that blank, right. you know, um, and also then compliment them. Like you already love Sensi, you'd be so amazing at this or something like that, you know, just to kind of, that's just to help you get started. But again, you fit that to fit um, their personality or whoever they are whoever they are. And honestly, what I did too is when I went to make my list, um, start with your obvious, your customer, you know, your top customers, you can actually go, and I don't know offhand how to do it, I'd have to navigate it, but you can see your top contributors on your page. And that's obviously a start, that's going to be five right there. Anybody in your Sensi club, I think I've lost a couple Sensi clubs just because they've joined within the past, you know, month or so. So those are obvious people to start with is who I suggest and then go from there and make your list and honestly it took me 15 20 minutes to make a list of 100 and I could probably keep going we know so many more people than than we think <laughs> you and know start, you can also go to the um orders history tab and start with your customers right there right yeah. there's your list yes anyone have any questions or Need some encouragement or <laughs> do it scared. Nothing good ha happens when you stay in your comfort zone, right? You just have to do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Mm -hmm. And set up those shop those personal shopping links. Like that's honestly what I'm doing tonight is closing, obviously at the last minute, closing out these parties and presenting them with the kit. That's the only time that I've ever probably asked. Erica, um, that's far. Um, Rachel Pence's call. Direct the. I have not yet. I haven't had a chance to. So who? Stephen? Did Stephen? Was it Stephen that said he did? 
Yeah, oh, I watched oh, yeah, it. a couple people did. Can you give us a highlight? Because I think that's a great way. Um, that's something kind of I do as well. So I, I would love for somebody to kind of, can you do the highlight of the call, Stephen? And sponsoring? Um, in like a, I just dropped, I just literally got on. So. Oh, <laughs> um, in a roundabout way, a lot of it had to do with really focusing on your front line, right? Um, and she kind of used an interpretation of gardening, of like de-weeding and really focusing on those people that are there and showing up. Um, and I, you, you, you can take it the wrong way, I guess, of how she said things and I could see how somebody could and she even said that too but it's not it, it is the, the hard truth that some people just aren't there to work um they're not going to do the work and they're not gonna go up so you're almost wasting your time and that's kind of where the de-weeding comes through but she said too with um setting up you know getting as many people to join and getting as many people to take that host kit um I don't know what else Martha um I think I think what I really took from is like you know book the parties book the parties book the parties and then flip the parties and focus on getting them to shooting star just don't even share like we have sensational star level one two or three don't don't vomit all sensey things on them but get your recruits yeah. to shooting star and then she doesn't even ever share sensational start level one she goes she jumps into um recruit two people she doesn't do active either she starts with 500 yes yeah doesn't even say anything about the 200 no you just go to straight to shooting star then get them certified and then next you go to you need to go find two two friends family whatever to join in the business with you that way you're getting them to star consultant i know you guys have probably heard me say this though you get four star consultants you'll be a director um, if you get, if you repeat, you're like, if you're trying to get to, um, star director, like you get those people, you can get, you got already got, um, if you're already director, well, you're when you want four more star consultants, cause where are you going to get that? And you're going to get to star director, right? So that's what you really want to focus on. Your star directors are your future directors. I mean, your star consultants, sorry. I don't want to confuse anyone. Did that make sense? I don't want to confuse anyone. Definitely watch the video. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go back and watch it for sure. <laughs> it's really good. It's really, really good one. All right. It was on. definitely an eye opener, I think, with the team that you have. Because she she was saying, too, that the, the team that got her to director, she has zero people left from when she hit director. There's nobody left on her team from when she hit director. So mm -hmm. had she stopped she'd be by herself. She'd be nowhere, right? Had she stopped recruiting, she would literally be nowhere. So. Gotta constantly be rebuilding and then recruiting. So important. I, I, I don't quote me on this, but I think it says, I think I was listening earlier, 10% of your team will actually be active or do something. I can't remember the exact quote, but meaning not everybody, you know, build the team up because not everybody is going to be active. That's for sure. That video and the director's group or where is that, Martha? I, I shared it in the uh, world tour group. Yeah, our, our chat there, I shared it in there. Are you guys messaging people while we're chatting? <laughs> okay.
How about those 10 bars being added to the starter kit? That is, it's an, that's an, is, that whole join promo is amazing. <laughs> that is incredible. Is it all, is it the $99 still? Yeah. And it, okay. you can only get the 10 bars in the $99 kit, but that's a great uh -oh. plus because they're going to get something before con customers can. Mm -hmm. so, right, right, right. That is cool. I think too, it's also important to know that like, if you don't feel comfortable sending a message right away, even you haven't followed up with the customer, this is a good opportunity just to follow up with them as well. So like, if you feel like, I don't know what to say, and I don't want to message someone and, you know, it'd be weird, just, just follow up with them and start that, re you know, that relationship right now, talking that way.
How's it going? No responses yet for me. How's everyone else doing? Did anybody make a list of 100 yet? I have my, an ongoing list in my business finder. Where I keep just an ongoing list, cross off, add. Yep. Yep. It just sounds like so much, but it's literally, it took me, I was shocked at how short of a time frame it took me. <laughs> I got a new team meeting Friday. She's a really good customer of mine. She ordered a minimum of 200 every month. That was bittersweet. <laughs> I yay, I know those are the ones <laughs> like when I when I first started signing people up, I'm like, ooh, I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I, don't know, know I know that. I know that, but it's still sometimes a hard yeah. to swallow. <laughs> it is. It is. My one that I just did this month was like a, a good sensey club one. And so that, you know, switched to her, obviously. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Hi, guys. Um, I wanted to say something, too, that um, as you guys are thinking of your list of 100s, but this is something that you can do like throughout your, I mean, not even just like today, but think about anyone that's ever asked a question in your business page about joining or had any questions, whenever anyone says anything to me about joining, I put them on a list and I have a list in my notepad on my phone. So that way, if a join promotion comes up or something comes up, you know, with like the 10 bars, I can go back and be like, Hey girl, I know you thought about this before, but I keep like a running tab of those people that say anything at all about joining or ever have any questions, anything like that it's always a running tab. So that way those people are there, whether you even considered them or not. So that's just a little tip I wanted to throw out there. Mm -hmm. Good idea. A great tip. Thank you. And not only that, just because they say no once, don't give up. It just means they're not ready for it yet. Because it literally took me probably, I don't know, six months to sign up. So it's just like, I don't know, do you want to sign up? No. Do you want to sign up? No. But then like six months later, I'm like, you know what? Let's try it. So just because they say no, don't write them off. I'm not kidding. I gave Steven like a couple of days of nonstop nagging him. <laughs> I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think you do. <laughs> but uh, I nagged the crap out of him. There's a couple that if you feel okay to nag, you're like, okay, go ahead and do nag it. those people. <laughs> my aunt, she was another one. I nagged her um like super close people in my life I don't really do that with other people but you got those close ones definitely keep talking and keep talking and keep talking yeah. um because I think Stephen would probably agree that he's happy he decided to, ju to jump on the bandwagon even though he thought I was crazy at first <laughs> completely lost it <laughs> no I I am very happy that I did it yeah um, trips hello yeah. money hello for sure it, it, it honestly became a saving grace from the shop in covid so it really did yeah. and it probably saved me from having to get a job that was kind of like the main thing that i was telling him when he was telling me no i'm like why wouldn't you your shop is closed dude like you got no money coming in so like i kept going with that so like if you have friends like maybe your best friend or someone that is like always talking to you about struggling with money, then, then you really need to have even those money conversations. Yeah. Tell them, Hey, this is what I did. Even if it's a small amount, look, look, as it builds, tell them every single thing. Um, because it can help them. They have to believe that it can help them too. So mm -hmm. have those talks. Sometimes money talks are hard with friends, but have that talk. I think if we've learned anything over the last few years, it's like have multiple streams of income coming in. 
<laughs> like so important. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm still looking for an additional husband, but I haven't found one yet. <laughs> <I'm just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to have to go out and do it myself. <laughs> Me too, because mine's in the other room playing video games. <laughs> <laughs> right? Same. Jenny's <laughs> birthday today. Woo -woo. Her hair lady. Congratulations, Jenny. Wait, what happened? Uh, Jen, Jen, unmute yourself. You can share. <laughs> Where's she? Yeah. I'm right here in the dark. <laughs> I had no camera today. I don't want to scare anybody. I had surgery on my face and my scabs are disgusting. Um, my hair lady joined today. We ran a baby shower and she was telling me that COVID really like kicked her butt and like people don't tip like they used to and she's really struggling. And I'm like, dude, when are you going to start selling Sensi with me? Like, what are we waiting for? And she's like, well, I don't know because I have no money. And I'm like, at the end of the month, I'm going to hook you up. I'm going to charge you you're going to join for 25 bucks because I had a free kit coming, but I really didn't want to give it to her for free either. <laughs> so she joined today. Yeah. Today is the day she got signed up. Awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And watching these trainings, that's literally what I've heard everybody say that they use as verbiage. Like, when are you going to do this? When are you going to join? Yeah. I don't really ask them. I just tell them. Like, dude, I, I literally, that's my word, dude, you just spent this much money on this order. You could have made this much money. Like, you know? Yes. Oh, I mean, I guess. Like, yeah, just do it. <laughs> just do it. Not to put Melissa on the spot, but I'm going to put Melissa on the spot. <laughs> um, this is your first call, right? Unmute yourself. <laughs> tap, uh, tap the screen and then when it's just on like one person, tap the screen and then you should be able to unmute from there. Not yet. It'll probably be just my face because I'm talking and then there you Is go. Now? Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, this is my first call that I've jumped up on. Uh, wait, wait, what, what was your question? I was having. I, well, that was my question. <laughs> but um, when we all did our first one, I think Martha wanted us to share like some, I don't even remember what you said, Martha, like tips or something. So I guess what are your biggest tips for your success? Because I don't know if you've hit it yet. Are you there? Have you hit the, the level two for the yeah. trip? You did hit it. Yeah. Um, Yay! So yeah, share some tips with everyone. My main thing was just following up with everybody, which I'm supposed to talk about in however many more weeks or whatever. Anyhow. Um, so I don't want to like get too much into that. Um, I just knew yeah. once August hit, like, I'll be honest, like, having Kelsey sign up under me and then I guess you could say that it was like a jealousy thing like when I seen that she got Alaska last year I'm like cool she signed up under me knowing absolutely nothing about Sensi and just did a party for me and like she's out here kicking my ass so that just like motivated me to work harder and yeah. and it's not like a jealousy thing now because like I was just like at, like I would go to her I would go to Steven and I'd be like okay well, what do I need to do differently because I would keep getting people that would like oh yeah I want to do this I want to sign up and then they sign up and like I have a girl who signed up from our last like $20 $25 one never even set up her website never did anything and I'm just like why do I keep getting these people that are like oh cool this is a great joint special and then like want to do nothing with it so like Steven says you can't count on the people under you like you can only um work on them so long before but you gotta like put in the numbers and do the work yourself and like this past month of january 
um, because December killed me. That was like the main thing that I did was just reach out to previous customers or like customers. I know that like, um, have talked about doing parties before, but never want to do it. And like the one that I just had, that was, um, a bartender, she ended up having 677 something dollars worth of sales. And then she turned around tonight and cause we just closed her party on Saturday and then she turned around tonight. She's like, Oh, I seen you post. You need $110. I'll do another like three pack of fragrance flowers. And I was like, sweet. So like, it's just, I guess keeping people know, like, yeah, I'm in a sensi, you're in a sensi, let's talk sensi, buy a sensi. I don't know, like, I, that's just pretty much just yeah. it, but i done to get to this point. Well, I'm super proud of you. I just wanted to say that I'm kind of person. Um, and my other question is, do you know what trip you're going to pick? Um, I don't know. I just went to New York for Thanksgiving, so I really hope that I don't get, like, not saddled with that one, but kind of like how I would feel about it. Um, I would love to do the cruise because I feel like that'd be what I'd be most comfortable on. Um, but as far as like work goes and not having your request off, the Mexico one would make most sense because it's summertime. Yeah. Well, congratulations. I'm so excited for you. I'm super proud of you. It's really hard to like get out of your comfort zone (laughs) and to like do the things right. But you just proved and I want you to know this now that you just proved in this time period of what you can accomplish when you really give it your all. And I think that's one thing like about anyone who's earned a trip or any time you've hit an incentive or you really push for an incentive, you don't really realize what you're capable of until you really dive in and you're pushing towards that end goal. And then you're like, wait, okay, I can keep doing that. And then, and then that's how it just grows from there. So I just wanted to say that I was proud of you. And if you do pick the cruise, I'm excited to cruise with you. (laughs) Thank you. So that was one thing I earned all levels of the last one that we did for like the spring one or whatever. And I'm like, okay, well, if I can do that, then I can totally do this because that was the other thing before too. Like, I'm like, well, I'm not going to get those sponsoring points. I'm not going to do this. And I think I end up getting like 3000 of sponsoring points even before like Steven did he go he had mentioned that to me he's like well look at you already got all your sponsoring points I didn't even have that yet at that time so I was like oh really so then that was also like a because mm-hmm. badass so <laughs> I think a lot of it's in our heads I think that most of the times every single one of us we get like defeated by ourselves we see other people doing something or we see you know big people with the company doing whatever it is. And then we're like, well, I can't do that. Nope. I'm not good enough. And then we talk ourselves out and we give, give ourselves excuses of as to why we're not going to hit that thing or that goal or whatever it is that we're trying for. And I think the important thing is to know that that's just how our brains work. They're like literally made to protect you and they don't want you to get hurt. So they are sheltering you from doing things that put you out of your comfort zone. But once you realize that it's just your brain protecting you, then you can like go all out and do every single thing that makes you uncomfortable. Cause you know, Hey, this is just leading me to my next step. This failure may be leading me to my next goal. So I'm really proud of you for overcoming that and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Will you quit? <laughs> I want to. Every- you hear in the background is this small child over here. <laughs> I want to add a little bit because Melissa said something about um the lady had seen she was so far away and she she had reached out and said I want to help you know give me three more flowers and she just had a successful party and this will kind of touch base more so like when we have social media week and Erica kind of um touched base on it too incorporating it this week with the um the joining too but your social media how you present yourself to people, the more personable you can be to people, um, people want to help you. They want to see you succeed. I'm not kidding. I've had messages all week. Do you still need orders? Are you okay? I mean, I hit a flash sale and I kept giving myself a personal goal this month. After that, I said I was going to be done. And then I was like, nope, I'm going for my best month ever. Boom, hit it. And then I said, I'm going to do a thousand more. Boom, hit it. I'm doing a thousand more. Boom, I hit it. But I always said, you guys, I don't need the sales, but I have a personal goal that I'm trying to achieve. Mm-hmm. Guess what? They helped me. 
when you become personable, people want to help you. So. I just want to say too, like, okay, we've got this join promo starting tomorrow. Everything that you do now in the spring prepares you for an incredible fall. It just sets you up. So work your business right now, just like you would when an incentive starts, because nothing is worse. And then, you know, on the last day, trying to scramble and trying to get all these orders and uh, so many times, if you would do all the things earlier in the year, it kind of, especially sponsoring, that's the big one, especially the sponsoring because, you, well, I, I won't get all the points, but no, you do. If they promote to lead, they promote to star, like that sets you up. It sets you up to promote as well and to be paid at title. So make sure you do all the things now. And I always like to go back to when I was growing up, we had a garden. We, we planted the garden early in the spring and then harvest came in the fall, right? And it's the same way in our business, same way. It takes about 90 days, a lot of times for seeds to come to harvest. Like you're, like you're sending text messages for people to join, you're planting a seed. And I forgot who said it, but they might not, oh, Meredith, I think it was, they might not join right now, but you've planted a seed, right? They're gonna think about that or they might tell somebody else. I've had three people join this year from customer referrals. Like they said something about joining Sensi and my customer said, you need to join under Martha. So you just like plant the seeds. That's what we do, right? Plant the seeds. So that's what I, I meant to add at the end of my thing. And then I forgot it was, so if you're personable, they're not only going to help you with sales, but somebody that's mentally possibly thinking about joining, they're going to remember how you are. Do they want to be on your team? Like, well, hopefully, right? <laughs> and then like Martha said, she had referrals. Her customers know how she is and they know that they would like their friend to be under Martha. Mm -hmm. So that all goes back to social media and how you represent yourself and um, how you're sharing yourself. And two, I want to add to uh, February 12th, 12, I think it is. I've been in Sensi for 12 years. I'm still recruiting. This business still works 12 years later. This is, I'm in like our shirts. I love our, I love the shirt Stephen did. Lifer, like I'm a lifer. I'm not going anywhere, right? And how many times I've had customers um, reach out to me and say, my Sensi person quit. Are, are you going to quit? Are you going anywhere? I'm not going anywhere. I always tell them. I'm not, I'm in this for life. I'm not going anywhere. Have you, have you guys had that? Like my Sensi person quit. I've been looking for somebody. I actually received a phone call today. She went to Sensi.com and found my phone number and reached out to me because her lady had quit and one of her warmers wasn't working anymore and she needed some more pods. She said, I know I'm very needy right now, but can you help me? Absolutely. So I'm meeting her tomorrow with, I don't see it. Oh, it's in the kitchen. So I'll grab it as I got the door, but with a little goodie bag with, uh, the fall calendar because she said or not calendar catalog because she said she wanted a catalog so I got her the fall one um <clears throat> and I've got her two packs of pods in there that I had on hand already so that she doesn't have to wait for them to come in Perfect. so so she's she's excited and I'm excited because she said her house is 4,300 square feet so there's a lot of room to scent in that house <laughs> yeah. that's awesome that's a good that's going to be a good customer uh, Meredith, I just saw <laughs> what's on your shirt. <laughs> um, but anyways, so that brings up another thing too, is if you're not fully invested into your business, I have heard several times people come to me and will say, you know, I buy from somebody, but they're just not, an, they're not invested into their business. They might post once a month or they might reach out once in a few you know, months, whatever, they want to support somebody that's invested in their business, right? Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you saying that, like, you know, my cousin Jenna signed up under me and she was killing it, but her, her mom's cousin, um, which isn't directly related to me, 
she'll still buy from me. And I'm like, shouldn't you technically be buying from Jenna? She goes, um, and sorry, I know that Meredith, you have a kid there too. And then Melissa, you've got a little baby too. So I'll just say, Shh. she goes, well, she doesn't post. You're constantly posting things. Like, so that's how I know what's out there and what's available because you put it out there. How am I supposed to know that there's this sale going on or you've got this going on or whatever. And because she never posts anything. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, <laughs> yay me. So then on my days that I feel like, okay, well, I'd rather sleep this extra 15, 20 minutes or just watch these stupid reels on TikTok or Facebook, I should be taking that time in the morning because that's usually when I schedule out my day. Like I set my alarm for 5.15 and from 5.15 and 5.30 is when I schedule out my day for my post to go out because I'm at work all day. And then by the time that I get home, I got this one and two other ones that drive me nuts. So I don't have the time to make posts. And so that small time frame of my day obviously sets like how I'm going and people remember, well, okay, well she posts this. So then they came back to me. That's why literally consistency is key. And it's probably the master key to everything, right? Consistency that leads everything. Yeah. All righty. Anyone else comments? I know we said we were going to do a short one tonight. Boom chat. We can go back to uh, end of the month. <laughs> Wait, where did you? You're not on mute. How's the school fundraiser going? Jen wants to know. Mayor. It went good. I closed it couple days ago they ended up doing thirteen hundred dollars um biggest fundraiser the school ever had so yeah and it helped because it let me step away from my sensi business because i had some crazy stuff going on so yeah it was a blessing so yeah they did good they were excited they're talking about doing another one for the other middle school since ours was so good and then talking about starting to do it for their sports too so we'll see good Good deal. Question, was that 1300 donated to them or they sold 1300? Uh, you did sin circles, right? Yeah, $1,300 worth. Uh, you sold 1300 of sin circles? Yeah. Gotcha, good job. Thanks. Okay, anyone else? All righty, well, I'm gonna let you guys get back to the end of the month. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Talk to you guys later, bye.